Okay, I don't know how you guys got in faster than me here. Now, Sebastian, just take me to the question so that we can move ahead. Which of the following numbers? Okay, it's divisible by two for sure. Because three consecutive numbers would have at least uh, one even number. Okay? And three consecutive numbers, do, is, does three consecutive numbers for sure have a multiple of three? Two, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. So we can see that any three positive integers taken, you know, with a gap of one, have three as a divisible as well as two as a as a number which is going to divide it. Can you see? Can you see this part? Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten. 9, 10, 11. So, they are going to be divisible by 3 and they are going to be divisible by 2. So, the correct option here is C. Okay, yeah, it's 3 into 2. Okay. So, yeah, just uh, quickly take me to the next question. Okay, that's it. So we can move to a topic. Uh, uh, Ankit, do you have any questions in any, any type or in, in maths? I think uh, maths would be uh, the easiest part of GMAT for you. Uh, Ankit, uh, are you with us? Uh, hey Mayur and uh, Siddharth and uh, Rajiv, Shubham, uh, yeah, you, you can uh, just let me know which topics you would like to do. Uh, Mayur, are you added in my course and are you giving the GMAT? Okay, Rajiv say it's uh, graph means in fact functions, I believe. Uh, Ankit, are you with us, or you have, uh, or you have taken a break? I think we have lost Ankit for some reasons. So, by graphs, uh, do you mean uh, the functions, Rajiv? Or you mean some, some other thing? Okay, you mean data interpretation? Yeah, I think it's better to move on data sufficiency because data interpretation questions are rare in GMAT. But data sufficiency are like kind of 40% uh, uh, or 50% of the questions. And, 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 uh, and for the graphs, uh, it is uh, more about the data uh, the data interpretation. So data interpretation is not so much uh, famous in GMAT and we are going to take the data interpretation to a very high level, in fact to the level of CAT or any other tough exam. So we are going to take data interpretation individually to in, into the toughest possible series class and uh, we'll do all tough questions. So I think we can try out the data sufficiency. So. Uh, shall we try it from this book or shall we try it from the uh, official uh, guide? Okay, let's move on to the official.